Hey everyone, this is Pastor Timothy. It's the 6th of December. Uh, we're, uh, we're blessed with a lot of guava, goyabas, and uh, one of the boys came by and got one, wanted to give one to his brother, but there was only two that were ripe, so <laughs> have to wait, be a little patient for them to ripen up, but um, it's a blessing to, to see the Lord's provision and what makes a difference in people's lives. Uh, I want to thank all those that helped um, and prayed. To help make this possible, the area is painted, and uh, we've got the door and the bricks there. We need to uh, stucco the the front wall there around there and paint the window and the door. But I'm very I want to just tell you how thankful I am that this door is painted here. And uh, Pastor Ricardo did a wonderful job painting the door. And um, when we get some more of the work done, we'll. We'll paint this area here to uh, to make it look real, real nice with the wall, and we're going to put the um, the door, the gate that was that was there, taking up that space. We'll put somewhere on this track, on this wall here, so we'll have two entrances for cars, and um, that'll be that'll be a help and a blessing for the ministry. Uh, right now, it's. Um, it was rain. It rained a whole lot yesterday, and um, I think it's going to rain again today. But this this area here in front is just so beautiful. I'm looking so forward to to us getting back to the ministry when the rooms are done. I can't open this door because it's still drying um, from where it was uh, it was set in the last couple days, but. Um, we need to get glass for the door to put in there. We'll have another door we need to get to put in this area to close off. So the whole area here in the inside will be rooms for the for the house and, and for our three boys. And then one room and then another room for the girl or girls that we hope to adopt. Um, I've talked a lot of you about faith and ministry and, and what we're doing. And... Um, I'm, I'm so thankful for those of you that pray for us and help encourage us and for those that are able to support in some way. We're very, very grateful. We're looking forward to getting the church planted the 16 blocks away when we're back here, but we'll, um, we'll still have classes and services here. And uh, I have no idea when we'll, when we'll be able to, to begin the process of construction there uh, because we still have a few things to do here. And we, uh, we just move as the Lord provides. But um, we're very, very thankful for what's been accomplished and for what the Lord is doing in us and through us. We want to thank you again for your prayers and support for us and for the, the blessings of the Lord. And this is Christmas time, time when we remember the, 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 the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, I hope that, that you remember uh, the gift that the Father sent to us and His Son, the Savior of the world who came as a baby and grew up and his whole purpose was to be the sacrifice for our sins on the cross and the power of God was able to raise him from the dead and and friends there's no situation that's greater than the power of God so I pray that the Lord bless you today uh, pray for my dad in the in the states I would so so love for him to be here with us and be able to spend some time with us here and, and see his um, grandchildren one he's never seen personally and also be a be a help with the teaching and and preaching and give me a chance to, to translate a bit work on my my translation abilities but um, just just please pray for him in this this holiday season without without mom and um, being a little bit far away from other family members um, and if you if you need a special uh, lifting up to the Lord for something, I ask that you please contact us or, or leave your prayer request below in this video, and we'll be sure be glad to pray for you. I was I was up late or early this morning, late last night, uh, talking with several different people, and um, just just thank the Lord that He's good and that He's able to to meet the needs uh, that we have in our heart and our soul and our body in our homes and in our, in our communities and um, he's able to save to the uttermost so thank you so much this is pastor timothy here in uh, the ministry base ministerio bachista casa calvario calvary house baptist ministries 
and uh, we're in Santa Emilia, which is a little neighborhood in the capital city of Campo Grande, which is in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. And uh, we thank you very much for your prayers and ask the Lord to bless you today. Hugs and prayers from Brazil. This is Pastor Timothy in the Peace saying ciao, ciao. Have a great day.